So the Raiders started out this game against the Broncos super hot, throwing a 56-yard touchdown to Brock Bowers. Then we go back down and we kick a field goal. And it looked like the Raiders were owning the Broncos once again when we were 10-0. to zero. And like I said, with Gardner Minshew, here's the problem. He'll have one great play where he looks like a star, where he looks like the offense is going to be fantastic under him. And then he'll go two quarters where he's absolutely atrocious. In 20 plays, 38 total offensive yards to the point where he finally gets benched. As I was saying in my live broadcast, which I literally had to end because I could no longer control my emotions about how upset I am with what's happening with this team and how terrible the offense absolutely looks. I, I, I said that watch what happens. He's going to play so bad that then when we're down, you're going to put all the cards on Aiden O'Connell. You're going to make him go out there and play last minute football and try and win the game. And, and for what? Is he going to be able to win the game when we're already down, when people have already given up? No, he hasn't. He, and he's not going to be able to. The game's not even over yet, and I decided to make this video because it's obvious that we're going to lose this game. The Broncos are driving down on us. They're making a, an absolute mockery of us right now. We can't stop the run. We can't stop the pass. Can't get to the quarterback. Quarterback's running all over us. Why? Because we lost Christian Wilkins. The defense is fed up with this offense, and nobody can make tackles now. And Gardner Minshew sitting on the sideline. AOC comes in and goes three and out because, well, what else do you expect? If you're not going to start Gardner Minshew, if you're going to pull him when he sucks, please, Antonio Pierce, please either start Aiden O'Connell, name Aiden O'Connell as the starter, moving forward for the rest of the season, no questions asked, end of story. Or quit your freaking job. Resign as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders because it's obvious you don't know what in the world you're doing. Us as Raiders fans are so fed up with this garbage offense and all the promises that were made and the fact that you did not go out and try and get a real quarterback. Why do you think Devontae Adams wants to leave the team? Because he can see the writing on the wall. You have been stuck in your stubbornness thinking that Gardner Minshew is suddenly going to become a good quarterback when he's never been a good quarterback in his entire career. And you make us Raiders fans have to sit here and watch this crap Week after week after week, a team that we have owned for the past four years right now is making the Raiders look like clowns. And I, for one, am tired of it. I was Antonio Pierce's biggest supporter. I thought Antonio Pierce was going to bring this team back to greatness. But the only thing that I am seeing from Antonio Pierce right now is stubbornness in his decisions. He is stuck with Gardner Minshew into week five when Gardner Minshew is not a good quarterback. And Aiden O'Connell, not saying he's going to be a superstar, but you keep putting it on this kid's shoulders to come in last minute and try and save the game, which is exactly what he's done yet again. And as I'm making this, the Broncos just scored another touchdown. My goodness, man. My goodness. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. Um, as a Raiders podcaster covering the Las Vegas Raiders, this makes my job so absolutely difficult. And if you guys are as disgusted with the performance of this team so far this year, with the coaching decisions, with the general manager decisions, with Mark Davis, with the entire Raiders organization, sound off down in those comments Support me because I, I don't know if I can even continue making videos for a team who has a head coach who clearly doesn't know what he's doing. That's how I'm starting to feel about Antonio Pierce. Maybe 
supporting and cheering on Antonio Pierce in the offseason to get the job was a mistake. That's how I'm starting to feel. I don't want to throw in the towel on him, but this game's not even over yet. And if we lose this game today, at that at some point we got to start looking at ourselves in the mirror. All of us guys who are out there calling for Antonio Pierce to get this job, we've got to look ourselves in the mirror and just say, you know what? We were wrong. We were wrong. End of story. Antonio Pierce is not a good head coach. Antonio Pierce is making terrible personnel decisions. And Antonio Pierce's poor decision-making is exactly why we have star players now wanting to leave the team. How long do you think Max Crosby is going to want to play on a team that clearly cannot get their crap together? If Devontae Adams is wanting to leave now, how many more losing seasons is Max Crosby going to be willing to accept? This dude is unstoppable. He is one of the best defensive ends in the NFL. And he deserves a winning team. And we can't put that together. That's how I'm feeling right now. This is my sound off board. I think this is not an overreaction. As I am making this video right now, there are 10 minutes left in this game. And we are down 26 to 10. And now you're going to put all the emphasis on Aiden O'Connell now, who you haven't let be a starter, and make him have to come back and win this game, which he's not going to be able to do. We're down by 16 with 10 minutes left. They've already run off Devontae Adams. Jacoby Myers, he's good. Trey Tucker is good. I think Trey's going to be great at some point. But I, I don't know where... I mean, we've completely abandoned getting the ball back to Brock. Why is Bowers not getting the ball? Why is he not being targeted? It, th this, is, this is an absolute embarrassment. I, I'm starting to feel like this is the Josh McDaniels era 2.0 with a less competent head coach. Someone who is just stuck in his ways. That he's not, like, in what universe is Gardner Minshew a good quarterback? In what universe does Gardner Minshew make you a, a winning team? If you guys feel the same way I do, sound off down in those comments and let me know if you're sick and tired of all of this nonsense coming from the Raiders. And uh, like, subscribe if you guys feel like it because I'm so hot, literally. I was, I was in the second quarter and just watching the tide turn and watching Gardner Minshew do what he was doing. I literally had to stop my live stream. And if you guys were involved, I know there wasn't very many people there anyway, but I apologize for having to start the live stream, uh, stop it like that. But I literally just could not contain myself anymore. My anger with this team and how they are playing right now I know you guys are feeling the same way. So much love to the Raider Nation. I'm going to get back to this game and, and, and finish watching us probably lose this game. And, uh, yeah, just be more upset. See you guys in the next video.